I'm Jayatika Soni and I will be the MC for this session. I welcome all our guests, professors and fellow graduate students to the uh, Graduate Sy Student Symposium and Annual Event of Department of ECE at NUS. The objective of GSS is to further enhance the quality of graduate seminar as well as providing a platform for graduate students and faculty to exchange the latest research, findings and ideas. The symposium also provides a unique networking opportunity for the students and the faculty from NUS with leading experts from industry. Professor John Tong, Head of Department of ECE, will be chairing this session. I would like to invite Mr. Parsha Abhisay, President of GSS 2015 Organizing Committee, to address the audience now. A very warm hello and good morning to all and every one of you, our keynote speaker, distinguished guests, the head of the EC department, the deputy head of the department for research and graduate programs, all faculty members and professors, graduate students, and my colleagues. My name is Farshad Rasai, and this year I have had a wonderful chance to work with some of my awesome friends to organize this event. I use the word friend because at the beginning, we didn't know each other that much, but now we form a very good group of friends. Graduate Student Symposium, or GSS, provides an excellent opportunity for graduate students to present their research findings and receive constructive feedback from the ECE professors as well as their peers. Indeed, it is desired that a research student possess exemplary presentation skills and the core vision of GSS is to facilitate a platform for the graduate students to own such skills. Our GSS 2015 organizing committee has tried its best to make this symposium more interactive and improvised a lot over the earlier formats. The salient distinctions this year are that we have invited two eminent keynote speakers for respective days of this event. And we have also instituted a panel discussion uh, on live for a research scholar in academia and beyond with four distinguished researchers in ECE areas for the closing ceremony. Three distinct poster sessions, along with networking sessions, are put in place to make poster presentations more engaging and more influential. We have reduced the number of simultaneous oral presentations for different tracks, so that the students can have the opportunity to know and learn beyond their fields by attending other areas tracks. We were able to attract more sponsors and increase the financial support for the award of the winners by almost 20% compared to the last year. Furthermore, our committee arranged a social event after the closing ceremony in order to expand the interactions among graduate students working in different areas in this department. Besides, I would like to invite you to attend the closing ceremony tomorrow from 5 to 6 p.m. in this place, Lecture Theater 2, not only for the panel discussion, but also since for the very first time we are going to announce the names of the winners in each track and give the winners their certificates and awards. I would like to, to thank the NUSEC department's support for this event, and in particular, Professor Teng Jun Rim, the deputy head of the Department for Research and Graduate Programs, for his kind support and helpful advices, especially I would like to express my sincerest appreciation to the graduate students who volunteered to constitute and organize this symposium. 
for their relentless and passionate call to duty that has made this event come this far. They have been working fervently for the last three months, and in particular, almost 24-7 for the past three weeks. Although at some points it might have become tough, we all have enjoyed the very good experience in organizing and managing an IEEE-like conference. In addition, I would like to thank all the professors helping us in judging the presentations and evaluating the research works. Finally, I appreciate your attendance and participation to make the 5th NUS Graduate Student Symposium a great success. Now, please kindly join me to invite Professor John Tan, the head of the EC department, to deliver the speech and open this event officially. Can you hear me? Okay, then we'll do it up the mic. Uh, Dr. Ogan Gura, uh, fellow colleagues, students, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to extend a very warm welcome to the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering as well as the symposium. Uh, we observed this morning, indeed, it is literally warm in this, in this few days. Allow me to tell you a little bit about the history of the symposium. Uh, it was back in 2010 when the ECE department undertook a major exercise to revamp graduate curriculum. Uh, we not only sought to rework the, the coursework to prepare students to undertake advanced research, but we also asked ourselves what are the qualities and skills required of a graduate to succeed in his or her career. The ability to communicate effectively is undoubtedly one of the key skills. And to this end, we developed a course in collaboration <coughs> with the Centre for English Language Communication at NUS to teach the essentials of technical writing and presentation to every research student. In terms of oral presentation, delivery skills such as vocal quality, eye contact and the use of notes, as well as the design of the presentation, visual aids, are all covered. As they say, practice makes perfect. And we then thought of a platform on which the students can practice their newly acquired skills. This led to the, the idea of an annual student-led graduate symposium. Uh, it was fortuitous that around that time, an enthusiastic group of ECE graduate students approached the department management to propose the formation of a Graduate Student Council, or GSC. And they took up the challenge of organizing the first ECE Graduate Symposium in 2011. Actually, they didn't have much choice because they were cornered in the room and we said, uh, you would do this, won't you? <laughs> so they can't really say no. <laughs> anyway, they soon learned that organizing a symposium of this sort is a significant undertaking. It involves advanced planning, an eye for detail and resourcefulness. Now, in its first year, I'm heartened to see that the current organizing committee has put together yet another symposium with quite a few innovations and improvements, which I'm, I'm sure will be a great success. An event of this sort involves contributions from many people. I would like to express our appreciation to our two keynote speakers, Dr. Ugan Gurel, and Prof Professor Antonio Castronito, who will be speaking tomorrow. Members invited to the panel discussion tomorrow, my colleagues who are acting as advisors and best paper award judges, and the general sponsors of the paper award prizes. I would thank especially the organizing committee for your hard work. As you said, you were working 24-7, and I'm sure that's especially the case in the last 24 hours. And this is not over yet until you clean up the lecture theatre tomorrow. <laughs> I wish everyone a fruitful time at this event and look forward to the keynote speeches as well as the technical papers and posters presented by the students. Thank you very much.